What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and I wanted to start off today's video with talking about a topic that's really important to me and I think will be really helpful for you guys in terms of your success. For those of you that know, I'm doing this driven challenge right now until I compete on my first pro show on June 3rd and we are about two weeks into this driven series. And at two weeks in, it's really important to remain focused on what your goals are. And that can be really tough. I think it's really easy to be pumped up and motivated the first couple days, maybe the first week. But after the weeks go on, if your goals aren't clear and focused, we tend to easily get persuaded by other things and we're not as attentive to what our goals are. So what made me think about this topic is um, recently hearing a lot of people comment on the way that I eat or the way that other people eat. And what I mean by this is people can kind of hone in and they can either be negative about it and people just like to make comments, right? So uh, as one of my good friends recently told me, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has them. And it can be really annoying and really frustrating, especially when some people walk around feeling like they need to give an opinion on everything you're doing. And you know, sometimes when you're trying to diet or lose weight or whatever it is your goals are, maybe in your job, what have you, it can be really frustrating to feel like people are just always trying to have an opinion on what you're doing. And it can feel really negative and it can almost suck you into a negative place. Um, for instance, just an example, I notice a lot of people comment to me, um, man, you can eat a lot for a little person. And you know, some people could take that the wrong way, some people could, it could make them feel bad, but it's just kind of a reminder for you guys that when you're working through your goals, people are gonna have opinions and you know, people feel free to share them all the time. But what it's important for you to do is to focus on what your goals are, focus on why you're doing it, and you can't let other people's opinions dictate your progress and dictate how your day goes. And it can be that easy sometimes, right? If just one person comes in and says something uh, negative to you or something that kind of doesn't sit well with you, you know what I'm talking about? Or you've got those certain people in your life and they like to throw in those little comments or those, those little jabs maybe within your family or the workplace and maybe they don't even realize how it impacts you, but you have to be aware of how it impacts you and not let it impact you negatively because people are gonna continue to have those opinions, be it what they may, focus on what makes you happy Go back to your purpose of your goals, think about why you're doing it, and remain positive and focused on the plan. And maybe not every day goes perfect, maybe you get sucked into the negativity a little bit, maybe you have a bad day, but you can always have a better day tomorrow, you can always improve, you don't need to let it cause you to quit on your goals and quit on yourself or self-sabotage. Try to recognize when you get into one of those moments or have one of those days and just recognize it, feel the feelings of it, maybe journal a little bit if you're having more of a negative day and your mindset gets a little more negative. Let it out somewhere, talk to someone who's a positive influence on you who can pull you back to that happy place and pull you back to that purpose that you have throughout this challenge. So that's just a little bit of a reminder for you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. This is gonna be my refeed day for you, and stay tuned. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. I could probably sleep all day. I had posted in the Driven group this week that my goal was to work on my sleep, and I legit probably got six to six and a half hours of sleep every night this week. With the exception of last night, I got over eight hours. Just wasn't enough. You hear the Keurig growling behind me because I'm gonna start out the day with this salted, is it salted caramel macchiato uh, K cup that Shannon gave me. So I'm gonna have some coffee and eat breakfast. This is gonna be another day of eating for you guys because last day of eating video, you said you would like to see a refeed day from me, and today is a refeed day. So. I do things a little bit differently on a refeed day, or I'm purposely going to. I don't normally eat like this, but I'm gonna make myself breakfast before I go to the gym. 
Um, with my carbs being so much higher, I'm going to try to purposely um, place carbs pre and post lift. So I'm going to eat some breakfast here. Um, go do heavy legs in like a light cardio session. I'll probably bring some carbs to eat immediately post-workout because I'm probably going to be at the gym an hour and a half or so. For those of you asking, because I know I didn't really talk about it yet, um, but I am working with Danica again this prep. Um, for those of you that didn't realize that, Danica Johnson prepped me um, both of my 2016 shows. Um, I really enjoyed working with her and um, I was toying with prepping myself this show. Um, it's not that I couldn't prep myself, um, but I feel like every person needs guidance from someone else. Not only, and not due to a lack of education or knowing your own body, but more so the support. And Danica gives me a great support system um, during prep. And it's also just like one less thing for me to have to worry about. Like, I don't want this prep to be some giant stressor for me. That's not, just not how I'm doing this prep. So for me to have her, you know, tell me when to change macros, how to, you know, what to lift, what not to lift, when to do cardio, etc. It just makes, it makes my life so much easier because then I'm not doubting myself or I'm not, you know, if that makes any sense to you guys. So Danica's prepping me and we really haven't, this will be, a, I'm going into the first week where we're making some uh, macro adjustments, but nonetheless, I'm going to get some breakfast together. I'll show you guys what I'm having. I just actually flipped my omelet so it stayed an omelet and not scrambled eggs. Score! Today's gonna be a good day. All right, I've got my breakfast all set. I ended up doing uh, what I thought was gonna be an egg white omelet, but I tried flipping it again and was not successful. But I've got egg whites with spinach, tomato, bell pepper, and oop, and I think that's all I had in there because I'm out of like onion and stuff. Oh, I put in a little bit of goat cheese and then I've got the sprouted green Ezekiel toast, which I'm gonna put some, I have to grab it. I'm gonna weigh this out though. I am gonna add on to it some of the sugar-free red raspberry preserves on there. And then I'm gonna eat a grapefruit, with my cute little grapefruit spoon. And that should do it for my breakfast. So just to give you an idea for like a refeed breakfast, that meal worked out perfect for what I need to do today. 28 protein, which I only uh, strive to reach like 110 grams of protein. Um, 68 carbs, so that got my day off to a good start. Um, 17 grams of fiber, good lord. And three grams of fat, so I keep fat lower on refeed days. I can't remember if I said that or not. So there you have it. I am... Now feeling alive that I had some coffee and I had some food, I am going to clean up so Jason doesn't have to come home to a sticky mess because grapefruit, grapefruit's why it's sticky. And then go to the gym, hit some heavy ass legs. I am so motivated after seeing yesterday's show and being part of the judging process. Like, it was nice because I wasn't like, oh, I wish I was up there obviously, um, because I wouldn't compete at amateur now, but it was just really motivating to see the girls up there, the guys up there too, like people just had fun with their posing, people looked amazing, um, that's, Mike Halsey's show is just a great show to be a part of, really good sportsmanship in terms of the competitors, and just made me really, like, excited to compete, and, you know, like, I'm excited to, like, have fun with my posing, I'm excited to really bring in a better package this show, and that's kind of all I seek out to do, is to have fun, bring a better package, and stay happy. So I'm gonna use all that, I'm fired up, and I'm gonna go have like an epic leg session. All right guys, I just finished my leg workout. It went really well, um, had a really good workout. My legs are shaky now, so I know I did good. I felt nice and strong, um, especially having like 70 carbs going into the workout, so that helped. Um, it's been a couple hours though, so I brought with me, I'm having an 
MTS uh, blueberry muffin protein shake. And I've got in here 150 grams of strawberries. I'm gonna eat that while I drive home. I like having vitamin C post-workout, especially a heavy lift day, because heavy lifting causes, it's good to build muscle, yes, but it also does cause stress to your cells. It can cause some oxidation. So it's great to have antioxidants post-workout. So I love getting in some citrus post-workout. I almost always eat strawberries with my first meal, so I love them. High fiber, filling, you can eat tons of them, um, you know, in terms of like how many carbs you're eating. Not that I'm worrying about it, but so I'll probably eat more when I get home. Home from the gym and I'm going to eat my next meal because it's like 2.30 right now and Sundays, Sundays are not ideal for me to do a refeed just because they're busy, but that's okay. I had the show yesterday, so I would normally do it on Saturday, but, um, so I'm going to eat right now, and I've got kind of a big meal going on. I've got a full bag of the jasmine rice, just the, uh, Uncle Ben's 90-second rice, with, I put in there a few grams of coconut oil. I love the way it tastes melted on the rice, with some of these flavor bombs, a few of those, just to add a little tomato in there and a couple ounces of cooked chicken. And I'm gonna have my favorite, you guys know it, love it, toasted marshmallow. I need to stock up on more of this. Apparently Walmart seems to be the best place to find it if you're wondering where to get it from. So it's gonna be my next meal. So I just went to the store. I couldn't really figure out like how to fill the rest of my carb macros. Um, my refeed day right now, um, Danica upped it. It's 275 grams of carbs today, so it's a lot for me being, I know I look tall on camera, but I'm only 5'2", so I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, um, and then I looked at Jason, I said, you know what I really want to do? I want to take a poop, all right? Let's be real, you guys. I was sick and on antibiotics for over two weeks, and it totally destroyed my GI health, to be honest with you. I've been riding the struggle bus in that department a little bit, and one uh, usually foolproof method that works for me without having to take any like stuff from the store, because I hate doing that, I like to keep it natural, you know what I'm saying, is my good old buddy, the Bran Flakes. I happen to be a granny, and I love Bran Flakes. Those, that's actually my favorite cereal, is just eating Bran Flakes. So I'm going to pour a bowl of Bran Flakes. I'm going to have two servings of this, so it ends up being a cup and a half, um, which helps with keeping fats low, which is what I need to do today. That will give me 48 carbs and an extra 10 grams of fiber. So... Yeah, brand flakes usually work like a charm for me. So I'm going to have a big bowl of that with some cashew milk. And then I also grab just like some fresh pineapple there too. I'm going to probably have some of this after. I'll show you if I do. And just random local shout out is Utica Coffee Company. It's not, it's like 20 minutes from where I live. They have great coffee and I didn't realize they sell it in K-Cups. So I'm not having that tonight, but I'm super excited about having that tomorrow and you may notice i'm like my fiber is going to be really high for the day but i definitely didn't eat like a lot of vegetables um i normally eat a lot of vegetables every other day of the week but a refeed day i just can't because it's too filling and it's too hard to like get my carbs all the way in so it's not going to kill me one day to not have a ton of vegetables in my diet so pray for me that it helps so I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't know if I could finish finish this refeed day. 275 grams of carbs. Um, I like had planned out to eat pineapple and egg whites. I know, weird combination, don't ask. But I was just trying to like make it, make the numbers match, not necessarily like the most aesthetic meal. And I just started thinking about it and I'm like, whoa, like, I don't think I can do it. So texted Danica and I was like, this is where I'm at with my macros. How important is it for me to finish this day off? So um, she really wanted me to because my carbs and protein were still a little bit low. 
and so she kind of helped me brainstorm something a little bit more palatable so I'm gonna make myself a little brownie bowl mug cake whatever you want to call it and add some banana to it and that's gonna get me perfect to finish my day off with 116 protein because I do like 110 to 115 protein 270 ca 275 carbs on the money and 20 grams of fat and my fiber was 36 and at fiber I like kill the fiber game I've been doing great with fiber um, but yeah so I'm gonna make that now that sounds much more manageable for me to eat I don't mean to sound like one of those people that can't eat because like your girl can eat I can eat I can eat but Sundays are literally the worst day for me to do a refeed. It's the one day that like I usually film days of eating. It's stupid. Um, but due to it being the one day I get to sleep in, um, I start my day late and then I have tons of stuff to do. So it's the one day that like, I'm, I'm like good. Appetite is like low. Um, so from here on out, I'll be doing refeeds on Saturdays, which is just like last weekend's refeed. I was a ravenous beast. I could have eaten... I ate all the carbs, like no problem. So every week's gonna be a little bit different. Um, just remember that. And if your coach is telling you to do something, you should do it. Like, I'm nine weeks out right now. I'm not gonna get 275 carbs for a refeed um, like every week, you know? So enjoy it now while you have it. And there's a reason why I'm doing it and we need to see how I respond from such a high refeed day. Um, there's always a rhyme or reason to it. So it's always just kind of like a good reminder for you guys too to make sure you're communicating with your coach if you're having an issue. Like I know people ask me that too. Some of my clients were like, do you want me to like stuff myself? Should I be? Is that is there a reason behind it? So just make sure you're communicating with your coach. And so I'm going to make this up now because it's almost 9 o'clock at night. I technically should be getting to bed right now because... It would be nice if I got more than six hours of sleep, but it's not happening because I still have too much to do. So I'm going to make this up, I'll show it to you, and we shall conclude this video. That is going to be my final food of the day. little mini brownie bowl with some banana in it. And then that gets me at what I need to be at for my refeed day. Alright guys, that is going to conclude my day of eating, my refeed day. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and keep checking back for more.